So last time, I think I just finished up giving Gordel the code book for the hollowed Kamina Thong, Holland Ek Kamina Thong uh, Laboratory. And now I'm back here in Endothrin. I went ahead and off screen just sort of consolidated all my loot together here in the Hall of False Keys uh, Thieves Guild Guild Hall in Endothrin. So yeah, I have all my loot in here now. I've sort of divvied it up into different little stashes. My main loot chest for things that's what I want to keep. Then I have my loot chest for all the things I want to sell. Along with all the you my valuables. Great understanding. Welcome. And I'm not sure about selling some of these valuable things. I may make like a treasure haul eventually. But today I think I'm going to start off this mission. Or this stream episode. By reading a bit about the local region around Endothrin. I bought this history book of Endothrin here in the local bookseller. And I also had already this guide to Endothrin. So I just want to check it out since I don't know much of the lore in this new region of Tamriel Rebuilt. And I honestly don't remember much of the old lore. It's been so long. So we're going to read the Guide to Endothrin. Okay, so we have the base city. We have the manor district where all the rich and influential people live. We can even look and see they did a great job making this. It says all the buildings. The pawnbroker apparently is influential or in the manor district. Just the Western Wharf is included there. Council club, bookseller. Then we have the old town. Which, yeah, probably just the, the original town that before it started to expand, they probably grew the manor district and the temple at the same time and this other manor. And then it went and made the port and probably then the Warden Plaza. So, yeah, just the older buildings here, the newer imperial buildings, as someone put it, that I spoke to. The great port city of Andothran has been made wealthy by geography, but sacrificed, sanctified by the deeds of its patron goddess, the queen of mercy, mother of Marwin, Lady of Alexia. Indeed, the proud residents of this jewel upon the inner sea often attribute the city's commercial prosperity to the blessing of Maud Malexia and her great deeds here. So long as the temple stands upon her isle, it is said, and Dothrin will never fall to ruin. Nice. Toler Andas, counselor of Great House Lalu, rules on Dothrin from his grand estate overlooking the city. Beneath his lofty perch lies Warden Plaza, so named for Amr Alexia's war aspect, and in the reverence of the peace that has endured under her rule. Besides the coming of thong killings and all that. This is part of Endothrin. This part of Endothrin is home to the city's fighters and mages guild, as well as the local council manor of House Lalu. A traveler seeking rest may find it in the Dancing Cup Inn, while those in town browse and Dothrin's inf famous markets will find no shortage of bargains in Warden Plaza shops. The renowned port of Endothrin can be found just north of the plaza, its docks and warehouses buzzing perpetually with activity as goods depart and arrive from a score of foreign cities. The Western Endothrin. What remains of its ancient core is today coal, called Old Town. Here, Dunmer live and work much as they have for a thousand years, producing goods no less fine than their expatriate competitors in Warden Plaza. 
the old town hosts many such businesses as well as the city's Morag Tong Hall. Visitors affiliated with House Lalu are advised to inquire at the Golden Moons Club, an establishment of fine repute and well-mannered staff. Less one to do arrivals to the old town would do well to watch their pocketbooks when staying at the council club adjacent to the old town. Oh, adjacent to the old town manor district, the third era neighborhood whose residents, notables of the highest order, live in luxurious fashion in resplendent manners, each with its own character. The Imperial Commission can also be found here, led by the redoubtably redoubtably I have no idea what this word means. Magistrate Janonia Melites and Agranacro Dumag, commander of the local imperial garrison. In the center of the city district lies the Temple Isle. When Almalexia defeated the armies of the invading Archivieri at all foyan, the ancient village that once stood at this site, the ground first collapsed, then rose again in the center of the crater, forming the isle that today hosts one of the most important temples of the tribunal faith. The largest bridge on Temple Isle leads to the picturesque waterfall that cascades down the city's cliffs and to the famous shrine of Almalexia's Fury. Region information. And doctrine lies in the Roth Royan region. Royan region, yeah. The northwesternmost corner of Mornhold District. The crags and hills south and west of the cities make overland travel difficult on foot, but still striders pass over these obstacles with relative ease. Roth Roran. Roth Roran is a vast rocky region of pale red stone, hostile wildlife, and tough hardy plants. Long considered a borderland between the great houses Redoran and Endoral, in recent centuries such as Roran, much of the Roran has come to be dominated by the ascendant great house of Halalu. Although House Endoral has retreated east of the river, Theo and abandoned Roth Roran, Redoran forces still garrison key outposts in this part of Resdain, especially the approaches to the city of Veranis. Okay, so yeah, it just goes on to explain the different parts of the town, how it's controlled by a counselor from the Great House Lalu. That beautiful houses. They're the city's temple district. That's where Amalexia defeated the armies of invading Akavir at Balfoyan. There's some like divine reason the island appears apparently. The constellation of small settlements to Andalthran south and east are most agricultural in nature. The plantation economy of Antherin extends even into these harsh badlands further west, though the towns of Ominus and Menan scrape a hard living from the rocks themselves and from the trade of passing caravans. Across the Priai River, which the Halalu had long sought to establish as the boundary of their control in the region. The great monastery of St. Felm stands astride 
Let's try the river's famous oxen bend. Oxbow bend. Interesting. Okay, now let's read quickly Marwin History of Andothran. Marwin Historia Andothran by Varia Sedas. Some of you, my faithful readers, may know of Andothran as a stop on trade routes along the Inner Sea, located in the crater called Baal Thoyen, or the Stone Falls by novice travelers. It has often been mentioned as the first dark elven city truly welcoming outside traders, but while the city has only recently come to the Empire's attention as a viable trade center, it has a rich history. Most native residents of Andothran are eager to talk at great length of the city's past, which is inexorably tied to the rise of one local family or the other depending on the speaker. But everybody can agree that Andothran would not be what it is without the local temple. This temple, once the center of activity for the city, is located on a small island in the middle of the crater, next to the great waterfall, said to be a holy site. Indeed, the temple has long been a pilgrimage site for worshippers of the false dark elven deity Almalexia, whose shrine is located underneath the waterfall and connected to the temple via land bridge. These pilgrims would often arrive on the main road from what is now Evanhart and compromise the most Andothran, most of most Andothran's visitors. Trade primarily consists of exchange of water from the temple for crops from farms outlying the city. The temple would then distribute the food among city residents. This arrangement still continues today, but is overshadowed by the much larger amounts of trade managed with the aid of the dark elven house Lalu, following from the imperial docks, flowing from the imperial docks. The Dark Elves take great pride in the history of the city. What most residents don't know is that the site, in fact, has two histories. And Dothran was not the first city at its location, nor is it the largest imperial, I mean, largest. Imperial excavators have uncovered a sprawling Dwemer complex to the east of the city. Of course, most Dwemer are aware of the ruins and many have found scrap of metal on the ground, but no one knows the sheer size of the ancient ruins. In fact, even our Imperial explorers have only seemed to scratch the surface of these great ruins. Speculations continues as to whether Dwemer's site has for commercial, military, or spiritual purposes. Travelers interested in these ruins are advised not to venture within. However, as many of the Dwemer security machines are still active, and many tunnels are extremely unstable. Access is greatly restricted until excavation teams can secure the lower levels. Even one as illustrious and well-mannered as myself was only permitted to view the highest level, which was sadly devoid of items of interest. Yeah, that reminds me, I should go check out the bottom part of these Dwemer ruins. So what did I learn today from all this? It's the town was located in the crater called Balfoyan or Stone Falls. I guess that's like the imperial name for it. It is a massive trade center only recently with the empire. Most of the territory is agricultural, from what it seems, and the further west it seems to get more difficult, you could say, like rougher living. And let me just check out one more thing, which is the political map of Anathrin. I think Anathrin 
is basically like this whole like river region or something. And Roar Royan is everything else here. I could be wrong about that. Okay, yeah, so seems we have gold mock up here, one of the islands between Andothran and Old Evan Heart. Andrathi Plantation, Oran Plantation, In those runes, Roar Deer, Bull, Almost Deer. St. Syrian's Infirmary. I haven't gone there either. I probably have to go back and explore back again. It's pretty void of things in the last time I rebuilt update I played. Red, yellow, white, brown. Am I have I gone colorblind or is this just black and white? Very well. Let me drop off this gear. I also finally sorted out my inventory book a bit. I got the Conjurer's book review that I need to take to the Evan Tower. I also took some of my more valuable loot and took it to the Creeper so I can start selling stuff to him. Oh, look at this! He, his bar is done! Nice. Go ahead. I am listening. Hey, friend, look at that little dartboard. Hey, you're a hell of a carpenter, I must admit. Welcome to the False Keys Bar. Looks pretty great, huh? And look at me, the fancy barkeep. I even put a shirt on and everything. Come on, sit down, have a drink, and drunkenly share your life story with everyone. I've got all sorts of nice beverages, including my very own moonshine. It's good, trust me. Minimal risk of blindness, too. Good job, man. So you sell lockpicks, and you sell... Just random shit, don't have that much gold. Oh, I like it. Really like it. This place is starting to look really cool. Can I ask you about grooming the hideout? I don't know. Maybe it'd be nice to have some plants in here. Talk to Maragro Meridius. I thought you were getting Are more you mushrooms and ready. Hearty welcome, friend. Improvement. Maybe we could have more mushrooms. Go ahead. Get all the mushrooms you want, buddy. And how about you, Tatara? Anything you want so you can improve the hideout? I'm not much a decorator. Maybe the others have ideas. Let's talk to Shay quickly. Maybe she has another phase of upgrading. Improve the hideout. I will continue to improve the hideout. If you don't mind, I have some ideas. And talk to the other members. You need Less to find a way to this um, disrupt the legal schooma trade here in Andalthra. I think that's what I'm going to do today as I explore the town. Let me take a little look-see here. What do I need? I don't really need anything. I think I have all the gear I could possibly need. My mark spell is now set here, so that I can just quickly teleport and drop off my loot. Right here. Oh, oh yeah, let's let's go explore this place down here. I already hear some steam centurions. Let's go here first. OK. 
Okay, seems to be fire. I mean lava. Let's go up. Giant Centurion Schematic. Ooh. Can I not read that? Really? I'm guessing I was going to get sent over here later. Don't really care about the short sword. Steam Centurion Head. I wonder if they're going to make me build a Steam Centurion. I hope this ends up being like my... my Master Thief chambers. I will be happy if that's the case. I'll take that. Well, the history book said that this was a deep... Dwemer Ruin. Maybe I can find something cool. My name is over that way. What are these? Shegel Shelf. I'll pick them, see if they grow back. They probably do. Thing up here. Hello, is there anybody home? Ouch! can hear you. See if I can sneak up and shoot him in the back. Good night, sweet prince. Oh, it goes deeper. Oh. Goes outside? Oh, that's cool. It's a little secret escape route. Although now I'm afraid that... that I'm gonna have to escape this place at some point. And I don't like that idea, because my loot's upstairs. I don't need any dormer metal. Just too heavy, and I don't have the space for it. Well, that seems to be everything. Not very deep rune, if I'm honest. Yeah, those were the only three exits. Well, let's go out to Endothra and walk around, talk to some people. Let's see if we can 
find out a little bit about the skooma trade here in Endoctrin. Okay, so Indraoth wants me to kill the Kalantang boss who ordered the massacre at the Death Gate Elite. That's main objective. The Kalantang's most important source of income in Andathrin is illegal skooma trade. We should find a way to disrupt this business. Shay told me to speak with the other members of the guild. And I did. My rug thinks the key to disrupting the illegal skooma trade in Dothra is to find the town skooma cook. So we need to find the skooma cook. Rowdy suggested I talk to the local skooma users to learn about the illegal skooma trade. And maybe we should even take over the business. And Tatara says that she wants a fair share of the gold. Oh yeah, and I forgot, while I was moving my items out and consolidating them into the Hall of False Keys Guild Hall, uh, Gordel basically told the time has passed and I can go pick up the Cypher Ledger or go and talk to Gordel now. I'm going to start off with Rowdy's ideas. Uh, he seems like he's a street guy here. So let's go over to the abandoned guard house. Speak to the fiends. Go ahead. Non -sobar. Welcome to our tower, stranger. I'm Nals. And you can probably tell from my very fancy helmet, I'm the captain of the guard. Now as the captain of the guard, it's my job to interrogate you. Tell me what else, why our friend al -Yuen was arrested. al -Yuen. al -Yuen. Radran, the guards never gave us any trouble before, even though we're squatting in their old watchtower. But then, one day, they came marching in, kicking stuff over and shaking us down. They took Alun away, and nobody could tell us why. She never said anything about herself. Maybe that's because she had bad stuff to hide. But she was a friend too. I want to know why she was arrested. The guards won't spit on someone like me. But maybe someone like you, they'll talk to. Will you help? Sure. Oh, you're one of the nice ones. Then I tell you... Then I should tell you the truth. I'm not the captain of the guard. Also, I don't have anything to give you right now. I'll try to think of something. While I'm thinking, maybe you should go talk to the people in the Imperial Commission. That's the building right above our little watchtower. That's where they're keeping Arun, I think. What do you... I was about to say, what do you... What, what do you sell? I thought you, I could sell you skooma, maybe. This is just the pet rat. Cool. Cool. I have a shovel. Cloth. Cup. Tell me their smoke spot is up here. Ah, oh, come on. There should be like a skooma pipe, like right over here and some moon sugar where they come up and 
get high as a kite. What was that? Outlander. Let's go downstairs, talk to the rest of the crackheads. I will listen out, hey, man. but make it quick. The rats are our friends. They ain't done nothing to you, so just leave them alone. Okay? What can you tell me about Alun Radern? She wasn't nice enough, but there's always some been something dark about her. If you ask me, she never did say where she was from or what she did or why she decided to stay with us here instead of somewhere halfway decent. Tell me about her arrest. None of us knows why it happened, but she was hiding from something, that's for sure. Anything you can tell me about the massacre of the Dasky elite? Yeah, that's where the Thieves Guild got wiped out when they were attacked by Kamatong a little over a year ago. Killed them all. I shouldn't be talking about these things to you. It's not safe. I think the Imperial Commission has some re records about the crime. Oh, that's something to search out for while I'm there. Looking for your friend. Skuma? Sweet Skuma. So much trouble it has caused me but I just couldn't resist. How about illegal skooma trade? Oh, no, 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 no. I ain't stupid enough to step on the car of Dong's toes. I'm telling you nothing. Maybe there's a car Tong here with them that just sells them drugs. Uh, my head hurts. What can you tell me about the girl that was arrested. I don't know why they took her. I just hope that the mother's mercy keeps her safe. I think later I'll be able to sell them skooma. Legal skooma trade. Okay, let me just do a little bit of convincing. Yes? Tell me about the Liga Skuma, tr skuma trade now. The Kamatong have an alchemist who makes the Skuma for them. A Khajiit he named is Jokar. <laughs> they kidnap and keep him in an underground hideout right here in the Western Wharf. There's a grate by the water line. That's the entrance to the hideout. Maybe you can get in. If you tell him that you're there to buy skumo or something, good luck. I wonder if these other people have something else to say about that. Yes, Outlander. What do you want? Hey, buddy. What can you tell me about the legal skumo trade? I guess they're all going to say the same thing. I can't even sell you skooma. I talked about taking over the skooma trade. They'll buy from me. They'll buy from anyone. So we need to find the grate by the western water line. The entrance to the hideout. Maybe I can get in there if I say I want to buy some skooma. Isn't the grate is in the water somewhere? What's your story? This is it for sure now. Warpside hideout. Hey friend. Uh, some You're people standing with your boat. Dumb. Like me, for instance. Oh wow. <gasps> Sad but true.
I guess let's go inside. Oh, it's like literally just their hideout. They just have like a their own door. Hey, buddy. Looking for some skooma. Who in oblivion are you and how did you find this place? Do you know the password? If not, you'd better scram. Password? Never mind. So where, oh where, where would I get the password from? It would probably have to be from like the common thong council club, from over here. So I could pick the lock and go in. But ideally, I sort of want to find... Find another way in. Let me take a look at this again. Maybe if I take care and help these guys out, they'll give me the password. You know, lacking... Speak quickly, Outlander, or go away. Like, who would I even ask? Can I ask about the local skooma trade to just anyone? Oh, it doesn't seem like I can. I want to go to the the council club. Let's go see if we can find our friend. Maybe the drug addicts will, will be like, right. yeah, well, this is the password. Thanks for helping our friend. And either way, I can inform myself better about what happened at the Dusky Elite Massacre. Also gives me a reason to go into Imperial Commission, so might as well. Nine good days to you, Sarah. Hello, my friend. Welcome to Imperial Commission. I am Salvius Ariafex, a scribe. If you are here to register a complaint, I must warn you in advance that the wait time will not be insignificant. We have a backlog of cases to last us well into the next decade. You might think I'm joking, but I'm not. Can you tell me about Alinu? Alinu's arrest? I don't know much about her case. Selendi would have processed her. Okay, so we'll go talk to Selendi. What about the massacre at the Dusky Alit? Talk to Selendi down in the garrison archives if you want to know more. So Selendi's the main person. You just stand here and look pretty. Gotcha. You have some nice silverware pots. I'm starting to think of making myself a collection of silverware what stranger gold ebony limeware come on i haven't got all day oh, you come know on. paper hello madam who would you be the empire the empire of tamriel encompasses nine imperial provinces Skyrim, High Rock, Hammerfell, Somerset, Isle, Valenwood, Elsewhere, Black Marsh, Marwind, and an ancient imperial province itself, Cyrodiil. Dating from the first era of Cyrodiil Empire, the empire is almost 4,000 years old, but more properly, the current empire dates from the beginning of the third era and the crowning of Tyra Septon as emperor of Marwind over 400 years ago. The current Emperor is Uriel Septon, 24th of the Septon line. How are you today? Very fine, madam. Very fine. Erdix. Is 
Stay out of trouble and you won't get hurt. Hello, Is it really necessary that we talk? Please don't touch anything. I know this office looks like we were hit by a whirlwind storm, but there's a method, method to this madness. I promise everything is where it should be. What can you tell me about the Alino arrest? Someone should be shared only by friends. Great. Sure hope we're friends. How about if I put on this lovely perfume of mine? Will that be enough? So you want money, that's what you're saying. It couldn't hurt to tell you. Alinu Radran is accused of highway robbery and murder. At least two Cedrillic travelers were killed by her hand between Andothrand and the Halalu plantations to the south. A witness to the crime recognized her in the docks district and dutifully informed the guard. She was arrested in accordance with imperial law. Alinu Radrin will be sentenced to death for her crimes. What can you tell me about the massacre at the Dusky Elite? Sigh. Okay, one moment please. Selene leaves the room, takes more than just one moment, but eventually she returns with a rather disheveled looking volume labeled Unsolved Cases 12D and another one labeled D Register Inns, Taverns and C. In the center? All right, I have found the relevant paperwork. Let's see. It says in the records that there were seven bodies found at the crime scene, all stabbed to death, multiple assailants by the look of it. No murder weapon or anything else of note was found. Unsurprisingly, no eyewitnesses came forward and the case was closed after a month of no progress. Afterwards, the property was sold in an auction to one... Ooh... The Ryan Larem. Okay, so we need to go and talk to one Da Ryan Larem and see what he knows. Because he is of either the leader of the Common of Thong, or at least of this area in Andothran, or he's lended his name to the common tongue to buy the property either way he'll know who told him to buy it or if he is in the common tongue okay so this is good good information regardless Okay, are there like cells here? Yes, Bosmer. If I was prison cell, I would be at the bottom, wouldn't I? Oh, come on. Oh, I thought that was the key for a preset actor. Tax notice, pulse the hound, viper gang, bone eater, heme one and illness. By order of Trenonia Meltius, Imperial Magistrate of Andothran, and under the authority of the Ruby Throne, let it be known that the creature known only as the Bone Eaters wanted dead for the crimes of murder, cannibalism, and brigandry. Reward is a thousand septums. Report to Agranac Gro Dumag. 
at Andrathan's Imperial Commission for more information. So, they have another bounty for the Viper Gang for 600 to report for the same person. Holst, 300 septums. Okay, we'll have to find this man. Let's see if I can quickly loot something good from here. Books. Port inventory. I'll keep that there because that seems to be like a quest thing. Port records. Port verdicts. Maybe they have some... I was going to say some items that they repossessed. What is it now? It's nothing, my friend. They sent me for a document. A new paralegal. Isn't ledger. Okay, so this is the prison. Hey, you, Khajiit. What are you doing here? What can Karami do for you? Do you know Miss Randon? Kamari knows nothing of that. Who are you, buddy? Kamaratang? Alu Radin? Who? I guess I don't get to see much. Oh, here she is. Let's see if there's no one nearby. Let's talk to her. Do I know you? Um, you, you don't really know me, but the, the bombs you live with, crack fiends, skooma fiends, sent me to look for you. Alright, what else? You know what I'm accused of. Let me tell you what really happened. I'm just a petty thief who saw the money in Andathrin and thought it would be safe war to milk. Nothing that would get me sentenced that ends in execution. What I didn't know is that this guar has teeth and they've called the Kamenetang and they're called the Kamenetang. I didn't know they'd run the thieves going out of town. I didn't know that Andothrin was their turf. So when I started milking the guar, I got the wrong sort of attention. Now, I don't know for sure, but I think the Tongs killed those travelers, and then they needed someone to pin the murder on, someone from the outside. I was the perfect target. They dropped a bag of cash on a desk in Lalu Council Manor. Lalu pulled some strings in the Legion, and the Legion put me away for a crime I never committed. Now, I think that's wrong. If you do too, I hope you do. You'll bring me a scroll of divine intervention and I'll get out of here. Good sure thing. I'll bring you a scroll. And where's this orc that I want to talk to? Talk about the bounties. Gianna, this looks like a nice little vault here. Welcome to Janna's Contraband Emporium. Looking for a crate full of waterlogged moon sugar or a dagger used in a triple murder? We've got you covered, but no, seriously. This is the evidence of Contraband Vault. I'm Janna Scribe, an agent of the Imperial Legion. What can I do for you? You have anything good in there? I sort of really want to. Luther Vault now. Some chests in the back. They have this level 75 door that I don't know how I've unlocked. Well, I guess it'd be easy. Just need to unlock this one. Let's do a little bit of thieving. 
either way they they won't mind they won't mind me just like whoop walking straight in here no you well. won't buddy I'm just clean up crew cleaning up the vault you got Skuma, Troll Viper Blade. Loads of chests. I guess are just mostly empty. Oh, what did I do? Did not mean to do that. Oh, they have gold. Oh, my inventory. Why do they make gold so heavy, damn them? Oh, there's more gold and silver. Just take it, and I'll drop them for now. I'll just pile up on the floor and teleport out of here in a bit. Yes, give me, give me gold. I mean, septums. Spuma pipe, I'll take that. Gonian skull and Khajiit skulls. I'll take those just to decorate. In this back door. Oh, the keys are right there. I don't need the trees. Vault inventory. Wish it had an actual inventory I could check. Don't what mind me, sir. Now? Just cleaning the vault. All those gold bars are dirty, filthy dirty. Limbic. Oh, there's so much good shit in here. Bunch of ash statues, contraband, Dwemer shit. Get out of here! Challenge me. Oh shit! How do you see me? I was sneaking! Okay, I'm just gonna load it. I know I'm a filthy sc safe scammer. But he. I was sneaking! He shouldn't be able to see me. Oh, is there that? some skooma? How wonderful. Another tourist. How wonderful. I'm going to stand like right up here so there's no way he can see me. Nydric Warhammer.
Okay, there's skooma. I will use it to carry all this extra gear over. Ebony, moon sugar, more skooma. Okay, let me carry over this gold. A better idea. I'm just gonna drop this here. Well, well, friend, pick this up. I should have enough weight with the skooma. Oh, I don't. Up the stuff over here, then. Quickly go grab everything I can out of this room. Anything that's worthwhile. So heavy. Oh, I won't be able to move with all that. Will this take long? Yeah, yeah, it's a very busy, very complex cleaning process. Just equip those. statue yeah I don't really care about anything else Rob any glass still in there what is it now hey buddy almost done don't you worry Now to use a trusty recall spell. Oh, there's plants. And I'm really overweight, aren't I? Perfect. Well, there's more mushrooms. Oh, another table. Nice. Lockpick table. Practice padlock. Very nice, very nice. This room looks the same. I am never too busy. This is really looking good. good talk. Okay, let me drop off some of the gear in here. Do I need another? In oh, I have an ebony alembic, so I don't need it anymore. So I can sell this other ebony alembic. Meanwhile, I'll just display it up here with 
expensive stuff. You have great understanding. Welcome.